Right guys, good evening, good evening and welcome to Facebook Live. Welcome to Facebook Live. My name is Jodie Bunting. Uh, it's Sunday evening and it's turned into tradition, tradition now to have a question and answer. So I've got my sparkling water, you've got the questions, I've got the answers. So let's go. I'm here to answer all your questions tonight. Um, I've just put a post on saying that I've lost three pounds this week, which I'm really happy with. So I have just two stones and seven pounds to get to my target weight of 13 stone and two pounds. So it does get exciting when you get to this stage, but also this is the stage where it starts to get harder as well. So let's see how challenging it gets. So the biggest questions that we've been asked this week is what are you eating? You know, what are you eating? Uh, for those of you who do use Facebook Live, um, I can't see who's watching. It tells me who's watching, but it doesn't say. Let me just have a little play around with the setting somewhere. Am I doing something wrong? So anyway, feel free to ask any questions, guys. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, as I said, the main thing that people are asking me about is what am I eating? So you will see there, I have put on a few, um, of basically what I'm doing on a daily basis just to, uh, to base my meals on, basically. It's really, really simple. That's just to make sure you have fruit vegetables or salad with every single meal so that's the the fundamental not only just for digestion but also calorie wise if you're basing your meal on one of those low calorie products uh, then obviously that is a great thing um, and then second of all is to have protein with it so um, and just focusing on those two points you're obviously eliminating on the bread on the pasta things like that that are really calorific uh, and something that you generally eat quite a lot of as well. So those are, those are my main points with food. Uh, and then you'll also see the third point that I put on there, was just to automatically get yourself drinking water with every single meal. Uh, and again, that way it won't have you reaching out, hopefully, for alcohol, coffee or tea after your meal, because you already had your drink as you're eating. Therefore, you don't necessarily feel like you need anything. Right, so feel free to ask any questions and I'll go through uh, some of the questions that I've been asked this week. Uh, the other thing that um, I've done uh, on tonight's post is actually to list what you should avoid. Um, because as you know, I like to be positive. I'm a positive person. And I always like to talk about what we're doing and what we should be doing not what you should not be doing. But a lot of people have asked me, so I have listed um, the five top things that I do avoid. And those five things are gluten. So basically all grains apart from oats for me personally. Okay, so gluten is the, the main one to reduce. It's difficult to cut it out completely, but if you can, cut it out completely. If not, just reducing it. Uh, the second one, is dairy as you know um, I was a big dairy lover um, and unless you can consistently have raw dairy uh, then I would definitely said to get rid of um, dairy now bear in mind that eggs and butter are not classed as dairy so those are your exceptions so you're basically getting rid of milk yogurt and cheese those are the three biggest things and again if you don't feel like you can get rid of any of those then just reducing them will speed up your weight loss the third thing is caffeine so um for those of you uh, who followed my journey at the end of last year um, this was something i was really strong at um, and just giving up that the teas and the coffees help you drink more of this. So it's kind of an indirect reason 
Um, uh, and interestingly enough, for those of you who, again, saw me uh, January and February of this year, um, I maintained for two months, the whole of January and the whole of February, and into March as well. And it's because I'd gone back on drinking tea and coffee. So again, it just sets you up to be a little bit lazy, a little bit lethargic, slows down your whole metabolism system, and obviously stops you from drinking water. So there's another reason to give up tea and coffee. Um, and then the last two, um, alcohol. I'm not really a big drinker anyway, uh, apart from my occasional <laughs> drinks, which you all know about. Um, so yeah, to give up alcohol is a great thing uh, because we all know with blood sugar how it affects. Um, and then the final thing, what was the final thing on my list? Oh yeah, the big one, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's so simple that you forget about it. So do I avoid sugar? If you have a look at my food diary, if you've got my fitness pal, um, I do have my food diary on public. And those subscribers to my emailing list, uh, if you're not subscribed, go to jodybunting.com and subscribe with your email. Um, I send out every week um, a link to my food diary, so you can an overview of my food diary. Now, I obviously have things like tonight I've had a stir-fried stir -fried sauce, which has got a little bit of sugar in there, uh, but I would never have added sugar and try not to have more than once or twice a day a product with sugar. Um, so obviously it is very good to remove as much sugar as you can. Uh, if you ever watch anybody that tries to remove sugar, it is really difficult. Remember the sugar-free farm. This is well, this is like the greatest television program I ever watched, and like they had these celebrities there, and they were just like almost killing each other because they were going like insane after a couple of days without sugar, uh, and it, and they even took them off uh, fruit and things like that because. Um, you know, it's got natural sugar in there. So if you do fancy having a sugar challenge and going completely sugar free, um, it will change your life because what happens to me when I do it, I generally try and just eat fruit in the mornings. Um, and then in the lunchtime and in the evening, what you will find is that when you have uh, starchy vegetables like carrots and swede and turnip, they actually taste really sweet. And when you have salad also, the tomatoes taste really sweet. So it does open your taste buds in a great way. You do start to taste food and enjoy foods in a great way. So that's another reason for you to uh, reduce your sugar or, if you can, cut it out completely. Um, lost my trail of thought now. Yeah, those are the five things to avoid. So I'll say them again. Gluten, dairy, caffeine alcohol and sugar so those are the the biggest five things um but as i said if you can't get rid of those five just reducing them will help you uh, lose weight uh, as i said i can't see who's joining us and the questions are not popping up facebook have changed their platform and it's called the live producer now and it's not showing me any questions so it's showing me that people are watching but it's not showing me who and it's not show me the questions as well so i'm not sure why um so i'll just keep on answering the questions that have been asked all week so the first thing that i say um when i say about cutting out dairy one of the biggest questions i get is women especially i need calcium for my bones you know i need to have all those essential uh, vitamins and minerals that dairy gives us so the answer from that is no you don't <laughs> you as long as you eat a healthy balanced diet you can get calcium in particular from other sources so if you google uh foods with calcium in the nhs website will come up and number two on the list after milk and dairy products number two is leafy green vegetables so as long as you have a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of cabbage, you know, things like that a couple of times a week, then I guarantee you are going to get your calcium. Uh, and also bear in mind that nuts also have um, a limited amount of calcium as well. So if you can get into the habit of having, you know, a couple of Brazil nuts a day, not chocolate ones, 
um, or you know some cashews, peanuts like that, because they have got some essential fatty acids in them, vitamins and minerals. So this is the other reason why having uh, a little bit of nut now and again is great for you. Um, and again, if you think about vegetarians and vegans, uh, I know that uh, some of them don't look very healthy, uh, but you can be a healthy vegetarian or vegan. You've just got to have the whole spectrum um, of fruits, vegetables uh, out there. Uh, let me think of the other questions that I have been asked. I don't think there's any way that I can actually switch this back to how it used to switch. Oh, thank God for that. Jill's come up with a question. I can I, the questions are starting to come through now. Um, Jill, yes, everybody thinks that calcium because it's so so um, associated with dairy. This is why a lot of people think it is only associated. To be honest, it is the highest in dairy. So if you, you need loads of calcium, and this is where dairy is so important. Um, but as I said, as long as you are having leafy greens and nuts every week, then you will get the calcium that you need. Uh, the other thing that's listed on the NHS website is fortified foods. So um, things like breakfast cereals have got added calcium in there as well, which I would definitely not recommend, you know, having synthetic uh, vitamins and minerals is never a good idea and the more you can have it naturally is great uh, the other thing on the NHS list as well that makes me laugh is if you have any fish where you eat the bones <laughs> so bone fish of bones also contains um, calcium so you might like a bit of sardine uh, Jill in Northern Ireland, part of the United Kingdom. Uh, if you do like to have a bit of fish bones, then that is a great option also to get your calcium down. Ah, okay, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Jill's saying, great. Check, you've got your calcium. Um, the other things I was going to say this week as well, obviously I announced earlier this week about going to university which i'm excited about so yeah i'm starting at derby university in september um and i'm doing a course a four-year degree on nutrition physical activity and um what else is it on oh, health okay so it's three things but obviously what I'm going to get out of it is to become a nutritionist, a qualified UK standard high level nutritionist at the end. So that's what the uh, course will be about. Um, just going back to Jill's comments there, she said she likes salmon soft bones. Oh, do you, Jill? I'm not a big fan. Uh, but yeah, if you do like uh, fish bones, then fill your boots, Jill, because they're full of calcium. You don't need that milk. You don't need to pay all that money for those expensive cheeses. <laughs> um, so yeah, so in September 21st, apparently is the start date of the course, but we'll see uh, how everything goes. Um, regarding my fitness classes and my one-to-one -one coaching, obviously I may need to change some days and time. So for those of you who are my one-to-one -one clients, don't worry, I will still coaching you and because of my new education it will be vital for me to keep you as well uh, because hopefully I'll be giving you lots of new uh, tips and advice and uh, showing you loads of research and studies like that so I'm really looking forward to it it's going to be a great four years where uh, at the end I am going to be amazing and you, I'm going to get you all to goal that's the main thing guys I'm getting to goal this year if you want to join me you can also get to goal this year it's not too late um, but obviously over the coming years, my, I'm dedicated to getting you to goal. Uh, if you would like to, oh yes, Jill's brought up the vibro plate. Yes. So yeah, this morning at eight o'clock, for those of you who missed it, I did do a Facebook Live on my mum's new vibro plate. Jill, did you enjoy watching me? It was like belly dancing with no effort. The machine made your hips wiggle. Um, it's a vibration plate and do you know what my back's really aching 
Um, I don't think it's because of, like I said, you need to be careful. I think it's because I, I was actually working a lot of those muscles, especially when I was doing the plank there. Um, so, yeah, at first I thought, oh, is that a pull? But now I'm feeling it. I'm like, no, that's actually a workout sort of uh, strength uh, feeling. So it's proof that doing that core work on the plate there. Uh, now, someone else said to me, you know, are they worth it? Should I buy one? So the 150 quid for one of those uh, Vibro plates, would you buy one? If you really love them and it's gonna, you're going to use it every day, then yes. An investment of 150 pounds is not bad. But just bear in mind, you can do all those exercises without that equipment. So you can do the plank, you can do the squats. Um, you know, there's loads of videos on YouTube where you can use cans of beans and stuff like that press-ups, tricep dips. So you don't necessarily need that equipment. So if you generally buy things, use them a couple of times and then bin them or, or sell them, then it's probably not the best thing to buy, guys. Um, so just take care not to, to waste your money like that. Right, guys, let me just check our notifications. So yes, so this is my question and answer Facebook Live. Uh, if you've got any more questions, this is your last chance because we will be going in a few moments. Um, I've just been watching Killing Eve. Last week we talked about films and TV that's been on this week. Killing Eve was great. If you haven't watched it, even uh, featured on Gogglebox this week as well. <laughs> The Russian girl was great. She she was given a new accomplice this week, and he was so pathetic. She just shot him. <laughs> it was great. It made me smile. Did you watch Gogglebox? As one of our slimmers, Tracy says, it is her favourite programme, and it is becoming mine. I love Britain's Got Talent. I love X Factor. Uh, but Gogglebox is certainly getting up there now. It's just so hilarious. So, so hilarious. Um, because I've been doing lots of content this week, uh, I haven't really watched any film this week, you know, actually, I don't think I have. I've seen Linda was telling us about Afterlife, about the sad story about the dog. I have downloaded it, but I haven't watched it yet, but I've seen quite a few people have been watching it, um, so that looks uh, good for uh, if you haven't seen them, I made a couple of great videos this week about making porridge, my favourite porridge, and also one yesterday about overnight oats. So I've been getting people to share their favourite uh, recipes. What do you add onto your porridge? What do you add into your overnight oats to make it lovely? Now, because I'm making mine uh, dairy free, I'm using almond milk. Uh, a lot of people use uh, yogurt for overnight oats and you could use coconut yogurt so that is an option next time I get some coconut yogurt I will make some overnight oats just to get that thicker texture um, Sharon shared that she likes to just put a little bit of milk in as well because the problem is when you do use just yogurt it can get quite thick and when you're like it sticks to the spoon it's almost like one piece comes out like so uh, this is why people like to add a little bit of milk uh, as I said previously uh, using almond milk is not only low in calorie but it's also dairy free also uh, one of my friends um, said about adding ginger to the top of porridge and overnight oats tried it for the first time this morning never tried it before not a real big fan of ginger to be honest with you i think i've eaten too many raw pieces with sushi and like almost overdosed on it um but i did have some ginger in it. i had it on top of the fruit on top of my porridge this morning and you know what it was amazing i actually really like that hot and spicy flavor with the fruit and with the uh, porridge so I can see that's going to be one of my firm favorites for breakfast a little bit of ginger to get you up in the morning I'd highly recommend it right guys that is it for now if you've got any more questions feel free to write your questions uh, and I will be answering them via text uh, as always for uh, the slimmer of the diet the great grammar of the diet go to youtube.com no go to jodybunting.com 
uh, and subscribe to my mailing list for more of these food for thoughts and question and answers, especially the one from last week, uh, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting and click on the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, I'll see you again next Sunday for another question and answers live. Bye for now. Bye.